Hey guys, this is Noel Salas for the Surfboard Empire. Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas and today's episode, the El Tamo Fish. Lots of requests for this review. I've got a stock 5.4 coming in at 25.8 liters. I'm 5'9 and 160 pounds, and I've got my favorite quad set to start. I've got a large uh, pivot fin called the Peregrine by Naked Viking Surf, and then I have medium quad rears by Pizel in Futures. Now, waves are firing. Stoked to get on this board. Get your favorite drink, sit back, enjoy the show. <laughs> I stepped away from this thing, bought a day for the king. Guess this life is a fellowship, you pay for the ring. Feel the sound of the music, let the bass in this sing. And these are a few of my favorite things Punching above like I'm never bagging a six again Tightly rolled splits that I like to put to my lips again Fruits are more way when you know the champers is valid I'm fresh pale ale that pours and pampers the palate Picking up a win and she's not even a fan of mine to Bring it back to mine and get it blown like a dandelion Ticking box and kicking goals in this plan of mine Balanced all out with board games and family time Brandy wine, Jack Daniels and Coke as well Paychecks appearing in bank accounts when you're broke as hell Well, when problems fall and they fade away And hope glimmers through like sun showers on rainy days Drop baggage by packing bags that I wanna pack Been around the world like fuck it, I'm never coming back Passport stance, they can't believe that it's me again I fell in love with women I probably never will see again Made a lot of mistakes, turned around and retreated quick Walked away Now after multiple days, running this fin set up Riding in a bunch of different types of wave sizes and texture. Board's feeling excellent in, I'd say, shoulder high and bigger. And the bigger I've been testing this board, the better it feels. I can't believe how much hold it has for a board that has relatively low entry and low exit rocker. So this fin setup right here, I like it. It feels like it's, it's got a lot of speed. I feel like it's holding in my turns. And it's also letting go and letting me be a little bit more creative on the wave face. So like backside reverses, sliding the tail, this feels excellent. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the Tomo quads. We're gonna get out there and the next set of series of waves, you're gonna see just that setup. Assessed, overcame and defeated it. I found the light in these moments I most needed it. I wouldn't change a thing if I took it back and repeated it. The thing about my face. You always deciding which way to go, yeah. way to go, and it's always enticing. Yeah. Intrigued, you excited, embrace it all. Oh, oh, oh. And you were always inviting, warm in the heart and the soul. Never felt so alive with anybody else. Yeah. No, at times it all seems dull We seem to rise and we seem to fall yeah. If it's not gonna change then we all need love We all need love This is for my artistic people The government won't support us now They gave birth to us and it's like they want to abort us now You can't trust your brothers looking at you with your eyes What people fight over the last ration of So three or four days running the Tomo quad set We've had excellent waves And I would say that this board's starting to shine bright in the head high and above. It likes an open face. I feel I can come off the bottom. It's got excellent hold both off the bottom and off the top. And I feel like this quad set right here, because of the tip being a little bit wider, it's offering more hold and it's gripping the face of the wave. Now, the other thing I'm liking about this quad set is it's got a lot of drive. So I come off the bottom, it's giving me hold and it's squirting out of that turn. And because I feel like it's kind of cut out back here, it's nice and loose and it's pivoting quick. Now, I talk about the hold and this gripping the face of the wave. The downside of that is I can't, let it to, I can't get it to let go at the peak of a turn. It's giving me a little bit too much hold for what I like personally about a quad. Because it has the space between these two back fins, I feel like there's this little bit of slide and release and I feel like I'm so used to it now that it gives me a little extra flow. And I feel like 
I'm getting some flow here and a lot of traction and hold, but I've got no flare. That flare is like that flavor of the quad that it gives you that release. Now, I did get a little bit of release on a couple turns and it felt great, but for these fins to really let go, you're gonna have to get the tail above the lip. Then it'll grip and you can start right back into your bottom turn or top turns. So for me, this isn't my favorite quad set for the El Talmo. I like my original favorite quad set I felt like it had that flare and flow and felt a lot better, even though I feel like this quad set got better ways for testing. Times it all seems dull. We seem to rise and we seem to fall. It's not gonna change, then we all need love. Yeah, we all need some. See the thing about life. I know the times seem tough sometimes. Always the side in which to in these go crazy is. times we're living in. Always crazy times and treat you with silence. No leaders and no role models. We went from mass for smoke to mass for germs overnight. What we need now more than ever. Anybody else, anybody else. I know at times it seems so dull, it seems so dull. Cause we can make it through this. And if it's not gonna change, yeah, we all need some. Cause we all, we rise and fall. So after running my favorite quads and the El Tamo quads, I got a photo from Tamo saying mix and match your favorite side fins with the Tamo quad rears. And I ran those out there in some overhead surf and they actually felt pretty darn good. And what I was feeling was a little bit more release and then I still had good hold. Now this felt good, so don't be afraid to mix and match if you have the Tamo quad set already. But my favorite fin setup was still my favorite quad set and I think you guys will be stoked. Whatever quad set that you love, get it in the El Tamo fish, you guys will be stoked. Now that you've heard my comments and what I was experiencing with the different fin setups and kind of like an overview of what the board felt like, I wanna point out a couple attributes that I really experienced out there every session. Now the nose is a little bit wider, but it was free to roam. It didn't matter if I put it in a tight transition or if I was surfing bigger waves, it never caught up here on me. Not one time that I can remember, which is very unusual for a fish. So I never had to purposefully step way back on the tail and do my turns to keep this free. Now, the other thing I noticed is when I got into like head high and over, the traction and the performance top to bottom was unmatched. I haven't ridden any other fish that will do that. And I'm talking about really laying into a bottom turn, coming up and doing a big old wrap or carve backside or frontside and coming back to the power source. I had excellent hold and it didn't matter what quad set I was running. Now, the other thing I wanna talk about is this little wing or hip right here or bump. This reduction in surface area offers great performance even though it has a pretty wide tail. Now, it has low exit rocker and low entry so I'm thinking, how is this board holding so good? Now, I think one of the things we can attribute that hold to is Tomo's quad inside single concave. The other thing I noticed is that this split diamond tail, these, each point, when I was on one rail or the other, had great traction. Now, if, you wanted, if I wanted more hold, I could use the Tomo quad because the tips gave it that claw-like effect in the wave face, and I could definitely feel that. But some of the things that I really liked about this particular board was the way it rolled over on rail, and I could hold the bottom turn and actually drive through it, and for a fish, that's pretty unusual. Now on the bottom contours, to learn more about Tomo's quad inside single concave, check out the Hydra short review. He breaks that down for us real well. I wanted to point out the V in the tail back here. I'm about halfway on the quad rear boxes, and you can see my straight edge is rocking back and forth. There's quite a bit of V back here. Now I mentioned it has low exit rocker, and the traction is coming from the quad inside single concave, and this V, as it rolls over on rail, it's got so much hold, and I can push as hard as I want, 
that it feels like medium exit rocker. Now, the bigger the wave, the more I'd push. And if I can feel resistance, I'll push harder. And it never, ever felt like it was going to slide out. And we surf pretty decent sized wave. Now, I know it's a bit slopier. It's open faced. But we got into a couple steep sections and the board held real well. Now, it did get sticky at times. And what I mean by sticky is it would catch right in here. And that's pretty typical for me on any of Tomo's boards designs that have the quad inside single concave. It can be a bit temperamental if I don't have the right fins in it or if I'm not hitting the sweet spot on the board. So for me, I, I experienced the Tomo quad catching and it was a little bit stickier at times. And I felt like I had a little bit more flow and flare with my favorite quad rears that I mix and match that I use in most other boards. So for me, you gotta find the right setup. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is I wouldn't put this in one to two foot mush. I don't believe this is a one to two foot board. I believe this is three to six foot and I would like to push it even bigger in bigger waves than what I already wrote it. So for me, if you have your um, groveler already picked out and you don't wanna ride a high performance shortboard or you're looking for a solid da daily driver and you like fish um, outlines, this board's sick. The performance on this board in three to six foot, if we're talking high performance fishes, it's unmatched. So let's look at some waves together. Beautiful left, nice first turn. Watch the wave get real hollow, slide under that little barrel. I felt like the fish handled it real well. Now I'm getting my sorts back together. I like the tail release right in that turn right there. And that's the flare and flow I got out of my favorite quad set. Now there's a bit of texture on this left, but you can see nice turn, good flow, and not a lot of chatter. So the LFT tech was feeling good. Nice first turn, but it's really about the second one. Razor sharp, rail to rail with good flow. And I really liked it. When I got my feet in the right spot, I really felt like the board was pretty effortlessly turning and doing what I wanted it to do. This left right here, you can see good traction in that turn, hitting this turn, getting right up on the whitewash with pretty good flow, that was fun. Now this little right right here, set up this top turn just to come off the bottom, get nice and vertical and project well off that. Now this last left, you're gonna see it again backside, getting vertical, that's pretty unusual for a high performance fish. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the El Tamo fish. Now I highly recommend it for intermediate all the way to pro level surfers and to maximize fun, ride it in three to six foot surf. This is a favorite of mine for 2020 and it's gonna stay in my quiver in the category, high performance fish. And I think to maximize your experience and fun and you wanna surf it top to bottom, you gotta get it in the right size. I did try the 5.5, Tomo let me borrow one of his boards and it was 5.5, five, roughly 27 liters. And to get a series of three to four turns and two to four foot waves, I felt like it was a little bit big and clunky and I had a little bit more bogging more often. So getting the right size and getting the right fins in it is gonna matter for this board to be a favorite of yours. Now, if you like the show, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content and a special shout out thanks to Tomo for sending this board down for review. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.